This was once the home of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, the Mosaic Stadium at Taylor Field. Now it's destined for demolition. This is what it looked like last spring. Since then, a lot of demolition work has happened. Today, the largest part of the old stadium, the West Side Grandstand, will fall without the use of high explosives. The city of Regina didn't want uh, an implosion uh, with explosives used on this, on this project, which is not an uncommon thing. Using dynamite isn't the safest way to do the project. The success is not 100% either. It's going to be pulled down in an engineered collapse. Budget Demolition of Hamilton, Ontario is the main contractor here. Ian Bartell is the company's president. The challenging thing here is, is the height of the structure. It's in, a, in excess of 130 feet high. And uh, so we chose early on to use a engineered structural fail method to take down the building, the structures, versus a uh, traditional demolition. Taking down the stadium began this summer using a technique called high reach demolition. Giant arms reached as high as they could, attacking the concrete ramps on the back of the West Grandstand, removing as much material as possible to minimize the impact and dust produced by the collapse. The seats facing the infield were removed, and then the entire concrete structure of the lower half was stripped away by excavators. Now all that's left is the steel skeleton of the central structure and the roof. Here's the plan. Collapse the central structure into the infield onto a berm to reduce the impact and vibration. Budget Demolition worked with an engineering company to plot and practice today's events in a computer simulation. They input every structural element into their design program. They're hoping the real thing will happen in the same way. To trigger the collapse, Ian's company is targeting the remaining steel columns. These are the back columns. As you can see, they've mostly been cut through. On the west side of the structure, they've been weakened on purpose by strategic cuts. The last thing we're going to do is cut this back flange. We'll install a shim. At that point, we're ready to pull the front columns out. You'll see one, two, three, four. The top one up by that cut beam is our last cut. Columns on the east side will be pulled, causing the structure to collapse into the infield and onto the berm. They'll pull the columns by tugging on this beam here. It runs the whole length of the grandstand. The cable's gonna be hooked up here and we're pulling in that direction. And you'll see all these front columns collapse in the direction of the pole. The beam will be pulled by an excavator. So as you see, this is a cable that we'll be hooking on the machine and on the pole column. Time to evacuate. In order for the demolition to be completely successful, the collapse must nearly match the simulation. The excavator pulls, the columns give way, and Regina says goodbye to a landmark. 